So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. What we can see here is that we have a graph. It's an inequality graph because all this darker part is shaded. Our line is there. Looks like our y-intercept, I'll use a different color, is here at 3. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? So that's 3. And that's all we know for right now. So I could, I could figure out the actual equation of the line. Um, I prob Looking at my answer choices, looks like I probably will need to. But let's just jump to reading the question first, and then we'll move forward from there. So the question says, the shaded region shown represents the solutions to which inequality. Okay, so this is really a basic question around, can you read this graph and turn it into an inequality? Right, so I'm going to use y equals mx plus b, my slope intercept form of an equation, which is the same format that all these answers are in. Um, I know that I have an equal sign here, and what I should really have is an inequality, so I'll just deal with that now. The shading is to the right of this, um, but in terms of y, that would be considered below the line. So that means this really should say y is less than or equal to mx plus b. And that's pretty helpful because automatically that means choice a and b are gone, right? Because these both have greater than or equal to. Again, how do I know it's less than or equal to? It's because in terms of y, which is a vertical, right? Your y is on the, the y-axis is up and down or vertical axis. Um, I'm shading below, right? So all my values are going down from there um, versus up from this three and higher. So what is my slope? In fact, I'm going to start with my y-intercept, which I'd already found. So the y-intercept is 3, so I know that I have y is less than or equal to mx plus 3, which in essence tells me that the answer is d. I wouldn't even have to figure out the rest because choice c does not have 3 as a y-intercept. So that's it. I'm not going to do any further. If you wanted to find m, you definitely could. I would look at finding the slope from here to here which is up one, two, three, four, five, so five up, and one to the right, which is why m equals five, right? So again, that's the reason why choice D is the correct answer.